Hey there. With everything that's going on nowadays, going to the gym is not exactly anybody's first choice, so today we're gonna explore the best games on the Oculus Quest to get your blood pumping and help you lose some weight or simply stay fit while at home, and also have some fun while you're doing it. I'm Andy, welcome to VR Man Cave. First of all, congrats for wanting to get or stay in shape while being at home. Between sitting in a chair for hours and hours and eating takeout more than ever, damn you dominoes. We could all use a bit of exercise, but that doesn't mean it can't also be fun and motivating. So let's have a look at the best Oculus Quest games to get you moving and keep you healthy and fit. Fit XR. This is a complete visual revamp of the older title Box VR that has added a ton of new content and ways to keep you motivated and strive for higher scores each time you jump in. You will have to throw jabs, hooks and uppercuts to the rhythm of the music, as well as squat and lean to dodge incoming obstacles, which makes this a great recommendation if you're looking for a full body workout. FitXR has partnered with actual fitness instructors, so it's designed to keep your blood pumping and your motivation as high as possible. It suits both beginners and more hardcore fitness enthusiasts, since you have a large selection of options from what they call class of the day, a lighter and shorter workout that is about 10 minutes long, to longer classes where you can choose your instructor, time, genre of music and even intensity to match where you are in your fitness journey. Thrill of the Fight if hitting glowing orbs to the sound of music is not quite your thing and you prefer having an actual opponent in front of you, then Thrill of the Fight might be right up your alley. Step into the boxing ring with this simple yet quite challenging games. They advise you to have at least a 2x2 two two meter play space as you'll physically have to move, dodge and block if you want to stand a chance of winning matches of course. The game also offers a selection of training modes such as a speed bag, a heavy bag, focus ball and a workout dummy. When you step into the actual ring, this is a pretty tactical boxing game, dare I say even simulator, where you should be prepared to time your punches and block incoming ones, as well as be quick on your feet. Alternative Creed Rise to Glory An honorable mention when it comes to boxing games on the quest is Creed Rise to Glory. While this game can offer you an equally challenging workout, it's a bit more geared towards those looking for a flashy Hollywoodian experience with big crowds and higher chances of you knocking out your opponent more easily than in Thrill of the Fight. Both games are super fun and great for staying in shape. Let me know in the comments below which one you prefer. 11 Table Tennis If you've ever played a few matches of table tennis, you'll know all too well how much of a workout it can be. So, if you're a fan of it, then 11 Table Tennis might be the right choice for your workout needs, right in the comfort of your own home. The accent here is on realism, so expect a simulator-like experience with extremely realistic physics that will emphasize the importance of precise control of your paddle and the added bonus of you actually being able to feel the sensation of hitting the ball thanks to haptic feedback. It's about as close to the real thing as it gets when it comes to VR, so be ready to move more than just your hands. It has both a single player mode where you'll be facing 5 different levels of AI opponents, as well as a fully online multiplayer against either your friends or strangers. Alternative Racket Fury If you prefer a bit less realism with an equal amount of heart pumping action, then you should definitely check out Racket Fury. It offers many of the same things as Eleven, just with a tad more of an arcade approach to table tennis, where you'll face futuristic robot athletes in sci-fi environments. It has an arcade mode geared towards beginners, where you have a bigger chance of landing your shots even if you slam the ball a bit too hard. Same as Eleven, Racket Fury offers both single player and multiplayer modes, so it just comes down to your preference for the level of realism and the environments you want to play in. Pistol Whip have you ever wondered what it would be like to step into the shoes of John Wick while on LSD and with EDM beats thumping all around you? <laughs> Me neither. Well, that's essentially what this rhythm-based action first-person shooter is. You'll slide across beautifully simple psychedelic levels, shooting waves of enemies to the tune of dubstep beats while trying to dodge their bullets and the environment. The landscapes pulse and warp to the music, so it's a pretty intense experience. But that's what makes it a hell of a lot of fun you'll get quite the workout, especially on the higher difficulties. As you strive to sync your shots to the music and stay alive, your hands and feet will quickly beg you to stop. But I guarantee you'll be having so much fun that you'll keep playing until you're completely exhausted. 
The developers are constantly adding more content, so you're unlikely to get bored with Pistol Whip thanks to its growing number of songs, levels and modes that keep the intensity level sky high. Racket NX The developers of this game have a very interesting description for it. They say it's racquetball meets breakout inside of a giant pinball machine. And as ridiculous as that may sound, it's an accurate representation of what to expect from this one. While it definitely borrows elements from all of the above, it finds a way to mix them into something new and unique. This is one of those titles that is just perfect on the quest, since you'll be standing on a platform in the middle while slamming the ball at targets on the wall surrounding you all the way around, so being able to move freely 360 degrees without wires enhances the experience tenfold. It matters how hard you hit the ball, so if working out is your goal, Racket NX has you covered as you'll be turning around to hit all of the targets and get the highest score possible as you progress through the increasingly difficult levels. One great bonus is that, while the in-game audio is great, it allows you to play your own music, so you'll be able to get fit while listening to your own favorite tunes. Dance Central whether you're a fan of the Step Up movies or just love dancing, this Follow the Leader style dance-off game is guaranteed to offer you a great workout while listening to the biggest tunes of the past few years. While it doesn't provide much of a story, you'll be able to explore different areas of the main dance club and a few of the neighboring buildings and battle it out with various characters that want to dance with you. The essential idea is that you'll have to copy the movement of your dance partner and you'll get points for timing them just right. This game is really simple to get the grips of and will also provide quite the challenge as you advance through the levels. So if modern dancing is your thing or maybe you want to have some killer moves ready for when the clubs open back up, Dance Central is a great choice. Fruit Ninja You've probably played this one on your phone since it first launched back in 2010. I know I've definitely slashed my fair share of fruits in this super fun and dare I say addictive game. Well, if you haven't already tried it in VR, it's a must. You'll be holding a katana in each hand and slicing flying fruit while avoiding bombs. And I gotta tell ya, it's every bit as satisfying as the mobile version, with the added benefit of having to move your whole arms instead of just your index finger. So it can really provide a fantastic workout, which coupled with the freedom of movement provided by the quest is just fantastic. O shape. While the name of this one is nothing to write home about, in terms of full body movement and working out, this had to be included on the list. The basic idea is that you have colorful blue walls with various body shaped cutouts coming towards you, and your goal is to mimic that shape in order to fit through, while also having to dodge yellow walls, hit the coins placed throughout the track, and also knock down incoming red walls with your fists. The walls will come at you at different paces depending on the song, so it can be really demanding, especially on the higher of the three difficulty levels it offers for each song. For you tinkerers out there, you can also download a map editor from their website to develop your own tracks, but sadly the editor is only available on Windows, so if you only have a Mac, you'll have to stick with what the developers provide. Try including this in your morning workout routine and you'll soon see how much fun this workout routine can be. Beat Saber you didn't think I could end this list without talking about Beat Saber, did you? I would be surprised if you haven't already tried this Jedi lightsaber meets Guitar Hero masterpiece, because it's been covered over and over again by pretty much every VR news and gameplay outlet available. It has very simple to understand controls, as you'll basically just have to slash through glowing cubes in the direction marked by the arrow, to the rhythm of the music using both your arms while also having to dodge and duck incoming walls. There's not much I can say about this game that you probably don't already know, but it's absolutely fantastic on the quest and one of the best, most fun workouts on this list. One tip, don't get too comfortable with your skills on the lower difficulty levels, because you'll quickly realize how much of a noob you are once you jump over to expert or expert plus difficulties. I actually plan to start a 30 day Beat Saber morning workout challenge in about 2 weeks when my Quest 2 arrives. So subscribe to the channel right now and stay tuned for that because it's gonna be a hell of a lot of fun. Hope you've enjoyed the video, consider throwing me a bone and pressing that like button down below. And stay well and fit and I'll see you soon with more content. Cheers!